Hello, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is that Bernanke is willing to spend as much money as it takes to get the president re-elected. And if you're scratching your head going, aren't those two supposed to be separate? Well, supposed to is the correct word, and let's go ahead and print some more money. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> I did not realize it's like we have a lot of light. Uh, it's because this is this room is actually uh, what is it forty some foot long? Yeah. Yeah, and this is forty foot long and twelve. It's good to be got off a room to work in. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, they said that uh, last, yesterday that Mitt Romney did the inexcusable by criticizing the president over the over what went on because they said that. He should have waited until he find out, found out what, what was going on. And then, oh, we realized that he would have said the same thing, but he should have waited, and why he didn't wait is wrong. And then I heard the, the conversation was, um, when they put a constitution, a copy of the constitution down on top of the, the table along with the, with the Declaration of Independence, and they wanted to know, where does it say that when you run for political office, you lose the right to speak up as an American citizen about the actions of a political person. Mm -hmm. They said, well, he was running for office. And they said, I just ask you, where does it say? Well, it doesn't say. You mean Mitt Romney actually had a constitutional right to make a statement about it? And then the ask the a-holes were the ones that, how dare you question the President of the United States? Six times, how dare you question they all get that they all got they did admit that the material all came from the White House. So the press is so far in the tank for this man, now it's unreal. And Republicans admit that on, the only vote for president that counts is fifty plus one. Yeah, oh, oh he oh, I brought I brought Herbie Daddy back again because he's the only one with enough wisdom to explain this to you. We have been telling people for well over a year that the presidential election didn't matter. And finally yesterday, Paul Ryan, in an interview, said the vote for the, they were questioning, well, how is he going to win the presidency if you don't win these states? And Ryan said the, the vote for the president is irrelevant. It's 50 plus one that counts. That's how, many, how much it takes to elect the president of the United States. Not to the presidency, but to the head of state position, like, a, you know, like the, the premier of the country or something, because... The Republicans have officially admitted as of yesterday afternoon that our democracy as it existed before Barack Obama no longer exists. And at least somebody actually went out and said it, unlike all the other people. I have been trying to get people to, I mean, if he knows it, everybody knows it, they just don't want to say it. Now they've said it. And Bernanke to spend as much as needed to get the president re-elected. Okay, there's a, here, okay, what I like about a lot of the comics on the left is the people on the left actually do take their job seriously, which is to skewer the parties. And uh, one of them this morning, on, when his reply was about what he thought about, uh, about Bernanke, and he said, well, this is Ben Bernanke holding a pre his press conference this morning. And uh, he said, I will spend $160 billion in order to make certain that this economy is moving smoothly. And then he turns. I will spend $200 billion to make certain the president gets re- Oh, oh, I'm not supposed to say that part. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> and Jan's night accepting calling of my generation? Oh, it, it's basically, it's a, it's a, you know, it's another thing like uh, Christmas is. It's just somebody that's basically uh, like Yanni. Ooh. Oh, know, is that Yanni, Yanni? Yanni. Oh, Yanni's huge. Yeah, and deadlock UN Security Council ministers to discuss Syria aid. Yeah, the guy so Syria is going to get aid whether the United States wants it or not because there's a it's just the same thing as that you know it's history in the work. He who controls the interest in the Middle East controls the state of Syria. Uh, as long as as Assad controls Damascus, he's there forever. And if he loses Damascus, it's not about the rest of the country is one city, and they run Damascus because they military. You're not going to dislodge the military from Damascus without American help. And uh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, Herbie just. Oh, I know Monty sort of pissed about Herbie telling me this. You mean after yesterday, and uh, and the riots from today, 
and the burning and the pillaging and, and, and all the other things that we're not going to vote a dime more for a Muslim country? Mm -hmm. uh, well, now you know we're not going to dislodge the guy from Syria. And the Egyptian leader in Iran for the first time since 1979 revolution. Uh oh, Herbie Daddy again. Oh, Herbie Daddy said, and the President of the United States thought that he could deal with these people. Oh, what did the President say this morning? Oh, the President says this morning, they're going to have to instigate those democracy reforms that they said they were. Um, Herbie Daddy said it's the Muslim Brotherhood, which was ruled uh, illegal to run for office in Egypt, uh, that the President said would never take office, and now who control Egypt, and are spreading across the Middle East. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, boy, he didn't even speak this time. It didn't. Uh-oh. Don't want Monty to hear that Herbie Daddy doesn't make a noise now. And Obama aides mock Romney talk of taking God off currency. Uh, yeah, and this morning, the for, for about the third time in the last three days, the President of the United... Oh, you all know that the President of the United States was helping to co-sponsor a resolution in the, in the United Nations that would be making uh, insulting Muslim... The Muslim religion, a crime punishable by a jail term or worse, I love the worst. At the same time, they were taking God out of the platform and basically attacking Israel. Mm -hmm. They're supporting, I mean, you can go to jail for condemning uh, a Muslim, but if you condemn a Christian, basically go to it, fellas. If you basically spit on a Jew, go to it, folks. Uh, I, 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 both of them. Yeah. And car bomb kills at least, I know, <laughs> 17 in Syria. I can tell you, I, when I was younger, I used to actually hang around with people like Sammy Davis Jr. and Pat, Sammy Davis Jr. at dinner one night said, uh, they said, uh, said you're, you're, you're an American Indian, right? And he said, yeah. I said, you know my, you know my mother. He said, uh, your family's also Jewish, right? And I said, yeah. Your family also Lutheran? He said, yeah. Family are also Catholic? I said, yeah. And he said, boy, if somebody would hit this table, they'd get everybody in the all the religions at one time, so <laughs> I know, it was funny. And Obama aides mock Romney talk of, t oh, we already talked yeah. about that. And bicyclist dies in Utah to Wyoming race. But, yeah, because it happens is, I mean, <laughs> you want to die, go up Sepulveda Avenue. <laughs> I mean, that, I see people that are god awful healthy. <laughs> that is an incline, folks. Mm. Now, okay, for all those people that have never been to Los Angeles, we're built on top of hills. On top of really big hills, like the Seven Hills of Rome, very beautiful. Some of these things are beautiful. And Dorothy McGuire of McGuire Sisters dies at 84. Yeah, I'd actually, okay, here's one. I, I, I'm, I'm that age period, so I didn't even think that, well, Dorothy the McGuire Sisters are in their 80s. Well, yeah, I am, and I remember when they were young, and that means they're, they're up there, folks. Uh -huh. I forget that sometimes. The Nobel Prize winning writer says that Ryan, never a man of substance. That's because it's a Democratic Party member who can do nothing but write ill about the Republicans, no matter what it is. Okay, he's continually having, okay, he should be fired, but he's not being fired because he's a favorite of the president, and the Times keeps him on. How the hell, hey, I got the Nobel Prize in literature, I do not know because He's, uh, he, he, he's an attack dog for the Democratic Party. And generally, they don't give you Nobel Prizes, but they did Obama for being a you know, peace prize. So. And woman rescued after possibly four days in fr freezer? Yeah, she basically... What? Uh, she, she had a... Uh, the, okay, the freezer door locked on her. It doesn't mean you're going to die because there's air coming in, but the freezer door closed. But it's why they have an opening thing on most modern freezers. You know, like a, it's a walk-in freezer. Yeah. And oh. it closed on her, and nobody knew she was there. Ancient Maya murals found in family's kitchen. Yeah, they didn't know what they were. They thought they were just pretty, pretty murals. So pretty, they pretty out pictures. Of a junkyard, so. uh -huh. Sometimes you never know what you can find. They found supposedly they found um, Picasso, and they found a few other works of art that were basically thrown in dumps. Well, because people didn't know what they had. They thought they were pasta chuck, modern art pile of junk, so. And photos, William and Catherine continue the royal tour in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, which basically is really, they, they threatened to kill Harry now, so. What? Why? Yeah, you know, uh, basically the Muslims want to get Harry to teach the British people a lesson, so now everybody's being pulled back now with all kinds of security. I mean, and yesterday they were talking to the security guard at a Emmy event, and marine helicopters went over the top of the thing like they were 
bullets going over. And he said, you know, that's about the eighth or ninth helicopter I've seen go over today. They're heading for, um, uh, basically they're heading for American embassies all over this, the area to protect the people in Los oh, Angeles. Oh, in Los there. Angeles? Yeah. Ooh. And a Monty bubbleism from the March Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Today, few people listen they'd rather follow. You know, 